Well, shalom, shalom. I'm Barbara, and I'm always short and sweet. Well, did you know that the Pope claims to be God? Well, I'm going to read a whole bunch of quotes here today from the Catholic Church. The Pope and God are the same. And upon this earth, the place of God Almighty, that's the Pope. And that statement bypasses Yeshua and the Holy Spirit. I'll leave all these links below for you to read. And you can pause the screen and read the whole quote. Um, and they say the Pope is God and the God is Pope. And who can make war against the Pope? If you do, it's like making war against God. And these are outrageous claims made for the Pope. And not only are the outrageous claims, uh, all of these ones above, and but they're also regarding the authority of the Pope. And some of the terms that they give him are Supreme Pontiff, Holy Father, Holy Father of Fathers, Most Divine of all heads, Vicar of the Son of God. And these terms belong only to God, Jehovah, the Creator of the heaven and earth. None of these terms are to be given to a mere man. The term Holy Father is used only once in the Bible, and that's by Yeshua in his high priestly prayer. So uh, surely to uh, say Holy Father to any man would be the height of arrogance and blasphemy. Matthew 23, 9 says, and call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father, which is in heaven. And here's another quote. The Pope is of so great dignity and so exalted that he's not a mere man. He is, as it were, God on earth, sole sovereign of the faithful of Christ, chief of kings, having plenitude of power. The writers of canon law say the Pope and God are the same, so he has all power in heaven and earth. And they say, since the Council of Trent, that he has full jurisdiction not based on constitutions, but emanating from no less authority than God himself. And we know uh, papal supremacy is the doctrine of the Catholic Church. Hence, the Pope is crowned with a triple crown as King of Heaven and of Earth and of the lower regions. And here is that triple crown. More quotes, the Pope, who being God, cannot be judged by man. Here's another one. He is, as it were, God on Earth. And I hope you go uh, to this other quote, Remnant of God. Dot org. There are pages of quotes here you can look up for yourself about him claiming to be a God on earth. Isaiah 37:16 talks about Jehovah. O Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, the one who dwells between the cherubim, you are God, you alone. Of all the kingdoms of the earth, you have made heaven and earth. He is the creator. He is the only God. Well, who is sitting in this throne between the cherubim? See the angels on each side there? Well, it is the son of perdition who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped so that he sits as God. You can look that up for yourself, 2 Thessalonians 2, 3 through 6. What is blasphemy? Well, here's the definition. The act of claiming the attributes of a deity for a mere man to suggest that he was divine could only be viewed as blasphemy. And remember in John 10, 33, it says, they would stone Yeshua because he was a man claiming to be God. That is, And we know Yeshua was God's son. 
Revelation 13:6, And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name, his tabernacle, and them that dwell in heaven. Revelation 17:3, So he carried me away in the spirit in the wilderness, and I saw a woman set upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy. Here's some of the names. Holy Father, Supreme Pontiff. And so um, we did this video, uh, uh, Who is the Harlot of Revelation 17. I hope you'll go and watch it. I'll leave this link below. And let it be remembered. It is the, that Rome boasts that she never changes. Hosea 4, 6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. There are many good people in the Catholic Church. They have no idea the boast that Rome makes. So please like if this is a blessing to you and share it with your friends at Love Yeshua. And I left all the links below for you. Revelation 18.4 says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. So remember, I'm short and sweet. I'll see you back next time. Yeah, willing. Thank you for being here today, and I appreciate you.